Southern Pacific is the smaller of the three. But I gotta tell you, this one, he's a hefty one. This is a good size. Beautiful day out here in Southern California. Had some rain the last couple days, so um, it's in the low 70s here, so I figured I'd do some flipping. All right, look at that. Little king. That is so awesome. All righty, so got the little juvenile king here. California king snake. It's my first one in a really, really long time. Uh, these guys can typically uh, grow to about two and a half to three and a half feet in length. Pretty much active during all periods of the day. Um, and can be active at night depending on temperatures. Uh, if it's really hot, they'll, they'll definitely be active at night. Um, they can be all sorts of different variations of uh, stripes and colors and stuff like that. Um, highly variable. Uh, this one's got pretty, pretty regular stripes all over him. He's kind of got the yellow color rather than the black and white. But he's he's cool to the touch and he's just wanting to get warm. It's it's warm out. It's in the in the 70s. One of the defenses that this king snake has, like a lot of other snakes, is it'll twitch its tail and kind of hiss, try to be like a rattlesnake, try to mimic a rattlesnake. Uh, it will also put out some musk and smell. He's doing that a little bit. Um, and there he goes rattling his tail. Kind of getting in that S position. And there's a little strike. <laughs> now what's also interesting about these guys, and it's pretty well known, is that they can actually eat rattlesnakes and, and do that quite commonly. Oh, he's really getting aggressive here. He's getting warmed up. Wouldn't be surprised if he bites me here. But, uh... They're actually immune to rattlesnake venom. They'll also eat uh, rodents, uh, birds, bird's eggs, um, lizards, other snakes, uh, not just rattlesnakes, but other snakes as well. They'll eat frogs, salamanders, all sorts of different things. So I'm really stoked I found this guy. This is awesome. It's made my day for sure. It's um, actually my first stop of the day. I've got a few board areas that I'm gonna flip. But first uh, stop of the day within the first five minutes, so hopefully that's a good sign. Ooh, gonna bite my face. skank and a little frog. Look at that. Here's the uh, the first little guy that we found here and he's kind of been feisty. Now I'm not sure if this is a Gilbert skink. Ow and he's biting me. Stop it. Or a western skink. The western skink has like a bluish tail and the Gilbert skink has like a pink and he just will not let go of me. Um, but he was found with no tail it didn't come off when I found him it was already like that so you gonna let go anytime soon now both the uh, stop biting me both the uh, Western skink and the Gilbert skink they're both a small lizard two and a half to three inches or so for the Western skink and the Gilbert skink can get up to four and a half inches from snout to vent uh, they'll both eat insects uh, little things that they can overpower um, out here they're gonna be food for a lot of stuff including the snakes that I'm after so I'm gonna let this guy go because he's not having a good day and the last little guy that we found here was the uh, Pacific tree frog so pretty common out here I already did a one on him 
for the uh, reptiles in Mojave Desert, so I don't need to do another one, but cool. First uh, frog I've ever flipped. Alright, so this is the Southern Pacific rattlesnake, part of the Western rattlesnake species. There's three of them. The Great Basin, the Southern Pacific, and the Northern Pacific. Typically they're only about two to four foot max, maybe just a tad over four. And he's heavy, he's chunky, he's healthy. Um, he's all warmed up, so he's definitely active. He keeps trying to just get away. But if he needs to, he'll stand his ground. This isn't a very venomous snake, but nonetheless, I'm still on edge. It's a rattlesnake. I don't want to get bit. Don't get me wrong. The uh, Southern Pacific uh, still has pretty toxic venom, but uh, it's just not on the same level as some of those other species like the Northern Mojave uh, that I'm used to. Um, the Northern Mojave is way more potent than a Southern Pacific, and there are some other rattlesnakes that are more potent as well. Uh, one interesting fact, though, about the Southern Pacifics and their venom is that scientists have discovered that uh, their venom is now uh, neurotoxic. A lot, uh, in the beginning, it was mostly thought that they had hemotoxic and only hemotoxic venom, which attacks the blood. But they're finding now that it actually has some neurotoxic traits. Uh, they're not sure of if this is because the Southern Pacifics are starting to interbreed with Mojave rattlesnakes uh, or if this is kind of an evolving trait uh, or if it had always been there and it was only in certain Southern Pacifics. Uh, so they're really not sure. So that is an interesting fact that uh, their venom is now starting to show hemotoxic and neurotoxic traits. This characteristic of having both hemotoxic and neurotoxic venom is uh, starting to make the Southern Pacific more dangerous than it was. So uh, there's a lot of research going into Second the Southern speaker. Pacific's venom. Uses uh, pits to uh, detect heat, just like a lot of the other rattlesnakes eat rodents, uh, small mammals, so your rats, your mice, uh, rabbits uh, will eat lizards, birds, um, stuff like that. But this is a, uh, this is a big dude. Just kind of walk into, flip some boards and saw the big old tail going through the bushes here. Got lucky enough to see him, so it's a tip. You know, by the time I saw him, I was only you know a couple feet away. So you never know when there's a three-foot rattlesnake hanging out right in front of you. So always beware. He's hissing. It's part of his defense. Um, you can see that color that he has, kind of brownish, that matches the environment. Um, obviously it's really green right now, um, but when all this dies back and even some of it is kind of dead, he blends in good. I mean, even with the green, he blends in pretty good. So he's kind of calmed down a little bit. He still doesn't like me messing with him, obviously. But he's, uh, he's at least calmed down quite a bit. Um, from the very beginning, he was all irritated and wanted to get away. Uh, which again, I've said it on other videos, that's what we want, right? We want him to get away. Alright, so this good just goes to show you too, you can see this um, kind of brush here, and he's inside there. 
that you could easily step on him if you didn't know he was there. So, be careful everyone.